Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, as you can tell, I look pretty funny in this. All right. So today we are going to the Tide Pools to go snorkeling. And um, I'm gonna be testing out this mask, which was sent to me. It's made by Van Gogo. So Van Gogo did send this to me for free. But the reason I'm using it, I, I, I wanna use it is because it looks really interesting and like a, it's a new design that I've never seen before myself. So it's like this full on mask with a snorkel and a GoPro mount. So that's what I like about it. Next time we do some treasure hunting videos, I'll be able to have a first person view. Um, I guess I'll just have to fiddle with it until I get the right angle. Hopefully we get some good angles. Yeah, we'll be doing that. Thanks again. Thanks Van Gogo for sending me this. Um, I look pretty funny when I put this on. I, I mean, I almost feel like I could I could be an astronaut. Like, it's pretty cool. Okay, check this out. Uh, okay, so surprisingly, it's somewhat comfortable. I like that I can breathe and talk through my mouth. That's actually kind of cool. I've never seen somebody else wear one of these. Uh, I really like this design because I can eat a snack while I'm snorkeling. And that is pretty cool. Okay. So we'll go do some tests. And when we come back, I'll let you guys know what I think about it. If there's anything I think they could improve on. And, you know, the usual. All right, let's get going. All right, guys, here we go. First jump right into the water. First thing I noticed is because there's so much air like in front of your face in this thing that is on your head, you kind of float to the surface really easily. So it was a little bit difficult to swim deeper, but besides that, it was it worked out pretty good. It was quite nice being able to like talk as well as just freely breathe through your nose because I'm used to snorkeling and either not using a snorkel at all or only being able to breathe through my mouth, through my mouth. So that was pretty nice. My sister tried it out and what she said she noticed is because her head's a little bit smaller, it wouldn't always seal completely around her head and sometimes water would get in through one of the edges. So maybe something that like that could be improved on the design, but I'm sure it's difficult to make a mask that'll fit everyone's head perfectly. Swim along, was able to find a few little fishies here and there. And it was quite nice being able to just keep my head underwater. There is like this little drain right by my chin. So if it did fill up with a little bit of water, it would usually drain out. But if it didn't drain out, then it was kind of like a panic because your, your head's inside of this mask that's filling up with water. A little bit of a scary moment. Unfortunately, today the water was a little bit murkier than other days, but no big deal. Still was able to, still, still able to have a good time. Always having a good time. I noticed everyone at the tide pools was like looking at me really weird. They're like, what is he wearing? It looks like a, it's like an astronaut or some type of craziness. So that, it's pretty funny. I'd, I've never seen anybody else wearing one of these. I have heard of um, some other people who said they have like something similar, but I haven't seen any, this is my first time using or seeing someone with it. One thing that you want to keep in mind is if you use the GoPro's audio, you may end up with this little noise of this little of the mask because there's this little air bubble thing in the mask to help keep water from coming in. And the GoPro did pick up the noise, like here. But I noticed the audio isn't even the best, so I didn't really even use it. Oh yeah, and to wrap up this, there was this big puffer fish that this guy found, and then he was just like holding it. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And then he asked me if I wanted to hold it. And I was like, um, doesn't it have spikes? And he's like, no, no, that's totally cool. So he put it in my hand. Oh, it's such a weird feeling, having a big old puffer fish in your hand. Whew. Definitely something you don't experience every day. At least that was my first time experiencing that. Really awesome, really awesome. Um, to try it, to hold the hold the puffer fish, and just about now we started to head back. Just trying to be creative with a few angles. I did find this little pool with these little like colorful stones, and I was trying to get some shots of that. You never really know with the GoPro what shot is going to look the best until you get back and look at it on your computer. And now we are back from the tide pools. So real quickly, I'll talk about what I like and what maybe they could improve on. Maybe improve on the design. Okay, so I really like how I can talk through my mouth, like talk while I'm underwater. I've never been able to do that before. And I can also breathe through my nose. I've never been able to snorkel and be able to do that, so that's pretty nice. It's nice that there's a GoPro mount on the top, because then I don't have to have like a normal mask and a head strap. But what I must say is a smidge irritating. 
a oh, big gust of wind coming through, hopefully it's not messing up our audio, is because this is quite a bit higher than my head, I noticed a lot of the times this is actually out, the GoPro is actually out of the water when I think it's underneath the water. So I just gotta, you kind of just gotta make a more, more of an effort to make sure you're deep enough so that it's underwater, because or else the GoPro is like up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, besides that, it's cool that it's one thing. Now, what could they improve on? It, um, it my, when my sister tried out the mask, it was actually a little bit loose. So because her head's a little bit smaller, it wouldn't seal all the way. So water would end up getting in through either by her chin or by her forehead. Now, I'm, I'm sure it's probably difficult to make this fit everyone, but if they could fix that, that would be pretty cool. Um, this Maybe there's different sizes, I'm not sure. Maybe this is like the large but I'm not sure completely about that. I don't have too much else to say about this. Oh yeah, by the way, this is $40 on Amazon. I'll, I'll leave the link to it in case you wanna check it out. I will have to use this a bit more in the future to see, to just see if there's anything else that I like or anything else that I don't like. But overall, I think it's a cool idea to be able to, that it goes like over your whole face. What I really wanna try is eating a snack with this mask while I'm snorkeling. If I can eat a snack while I'm snorkeling, Okay, that will be awesome. If I could chew like gum or eat something, oh, that would be so cool. This would be my most favorite mask if I could do that. I will have to try that out in the future. And yeah, okay, I don't have a positive quote today, but I thought of something. I'm gonna talk about kind of like an, an idea or concept. It's, I'm not a philosophy. No, we're not gonna call it a philosophy. It's just, if I don't have a positive quote, then I, and I have like an idea that I wanna share with you guys, then I guess we'll just talk about that idea. Okay, this idea, or concept, is that there's not like only one way to get to somewhere. So, it, some people think that like to, to get from point A to point B, there's like only one road. So like maybe you wanna be a filmmaker. To think that you have to go to film school to become a filmmaker, it's just not true because there's tons of really good filmmakers and people who make really awesome videos that didn't necessarily go to film school. So that's an example of there's different ways to get to, to the final goal. I'm basically just saying that there's different ways to get to the final destination. As, as long as you get there, it doesn't really matter a ton how you get there, whether you take this road, this pathway here, or this pathway here. One may take a little bit longer, or one may be quicker, one may be cheaper, but as long as you get there, I'm, I wouldn't say that it really matters which road you take, whichever one is gonna work best for you. All right, guys, thank you again, Van Gogo, for sending me the head mask. I appreciate it a lot, and I'm very excited to maybe use this a bit more and do some more testing. Remember to keep always doing more some stuff, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, early in the morning. Literally the second I was about to end this video, our neighbors started drilling. Literally the second. Okay, remember to keep always doing awesome stuff. I'll see you guys tomorrow, early in the morning.